Hey everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. So today's reading is going to be a little bit different than what I usually post. I usually post a lot of pick a card readings, a lot of love readings. And today I just want to kind of go into um, this whole trial with the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation that's going on. Now a lot of people have already... A lot of people have already picked sides, honestly, and it's kind of hard to stay objective, especially like if you grew up watching movies and like, you know, you have a kind of, um, uh, a, you've taken a liking to one of the, one of the, one of the people in this scenario, but you never know what's happening behind closed doors. You never know what's going on and, you know, what people portray is probably usually sometimes not the same person that they are within or behind closed doors so let me just uh burn some incense here to cleanse the area i just kind of want to go in i don't know how i uh, this is going to turn out honestly because i've never done a reading like this just really want to get into it and kind of look into both parties here and uh see what the possible outcome of this is because i have a i think i heard that this coming week is going to be the last of the trial and then they're going to be doing their closing arguments is the last that i heard um so i have been watching some clips here and there but i honestly don't have time to watch all of it because it's a lot like i think it's they're doing like four days a week and it's like seven hours or something per day that's a lot of material to go over so what i want to do is i'm going to pull some cards for each party and see what comes up and then we'll go into it and I'll just kind of go wing it you know and wing it and see what comes up so what I'm going to do is use my psychic tarot here and I'm going to pull some cards reflecting amber heard pull three cards just to see what's going on in that situation okay spirit can you help me to connect and Help me to see the energy around Amber Heard. What is going on with her energy, spirit? And then we could go into the intentions and everything like that. Spirit, for Amber Heard, help me to see what is the energy around her. What is the energy around Amber Heard? Okay, so one card flew. Okay, we got fulfillment of wishes. Let's see. She's okay. I'll pull some more cards. She's definitely happy with herself. That's that's what that card is showing me. She's she's happy, even though I think she kind of looked a little stressed on on TV. She's happy with herself. Spirit, can you tell me about Amber Heard? Amber Heard. Amber Heard. Okay. We got hope. Okay. So she's definitely, um, I'm, and I, I was literally, I was asking about what's going on with this trial. Like what is going around the energy around her right now? So like, what is, what is she feeling like? Or what is what is what are in her thoughts basically what is the energy around her so like a lot of times when i do readings I, i'll look at the person's energy around them what are they where they where is their mindset at okay we've got the sacral chakra here okay and we got all right so what i'm getting here is she does feel alone, but she feels like she's in her right. Like she's hoping for a good outcome here. And she thinks that she's going to get what she's wishing for. That's what it, what is in her predominant thoughts. Even though a lot of the stuff that's going on right now would prove uh, otherwise. Or like there's a lot of in the, like social media. I know a lot of things, a lot of media channels are saying negative things about uh, Johnny Depp. Um in favor of Amber Heard and you know there's a lot of fans that are saying a lot of things opposing Amber Heard and in favor of Johnny Depp but in her mind what I'm seeing here is she actually thinks she's in the right and she's hoping for a good outcome 
here. Uh, she, whoa, okay, she is definitely, what, the sacral chakra energy that I'm getting here, that is the creation, that is the creation energy, like the, the, the energy center of creation. And what I'm getting here is that she, whatever she feels like she's been able to create, she's having hope in this. She's having hope in this outcome. And on, she honestly thinks in her mind that she's going to be triumphant, triumphant in this, in this whole trial. Well, this is what I'm getting here. And we could go into the intentions later, but I'm just giving you an energy of what's around her right now. She does feel alone though. She doesn't feel like she has allies. Um, but she honestly feels in her right, like she feels justified doing this. I don't know if that's like, I honestly, I don't know if this is a trait of her usually, like narcissist, like always thinking that they are in their right, but I'm just giving you the energy that I'm seeing here. And she's, she's, whatever she's created regarding this whole thing, she thinks that there's going to be a happy outcome with it. And even though she's feeling withdrawn, emotionally withdrawn, and that she does not have allies, or m as many allies, she thinks that it's going to, she's having faith that this is going to turn out well for her. So that's interesting. Because I honestly was expecting, and I try to go in, I'm trying to go into this as objective as possible, because I don't want to influence the cards, because you can do that. That's why you can't really read for yourself, because... You can influence the cards in, in your favor. I honestly try to go into this objectively as much as possible, but I honestly thought it was going to be her thinking that this was going to go bad for her, but she honestly thinks that this is going to go well for her. So let's go into Johnny Depp. Spirit, and I'm going to put his cards over here. Spirit, can you help me to see the energy around Johnny Depp, please? Can you help me to see the energy around Johnny Depp? What is the energy around Johnny Depp, please? Okay, so he, this one came out, stand your ground. He's feeling so empowered right now. He was in the dark for a long time. Do you see how this figure is like kind of, he, he's, he's dark right now, but the light is coming up behind him and he feels that he's finally finally able to stand in his own power and that he's shedding light on something that that remained hidden for him. Okay, let's keep going. And that's the energy around him. Spirit, can you help me to see the energy around Johnny Depp, please? Help me to see the energy around Johnny Depp. Oh, there's too many cards. Okay, Spirit, energy around Johnny Depp, please. Can you help me to see the energy around Johnny Depp? Energy around Johnny Depp. I'm, I'm feeling some sadness right now. I like kind of want to cry a little bit right now. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. He's over it. He wants to move on, but he needs to shed light on this. That's how he's feeling. He's not even feeling like he's going to win. He just wants to shed light on what happened and clear his name. He wants to move on. He wants to get on with his life. Look, sacrifice. He feels like his life was sacrificed. He feels like he was like the sacrificial lamb. Like he had to give up his part of his life where he had to, um, yeah, he had to like give up, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of his dreams and kind of hold himself back for this entire situation and but now he's able to stand his ground but he really feels like this like he doesn't honestly feel that he's going to win he doesn't feel that way that's very interesting because i honestly thought it was going to be the other way around i would i thought i was going to see a lot of hope for johnny depp here and a lot of like negative cards for amber heard but i try i'm trying to stay completely objective but you know and so the cards are really, so he's, I don't think he's feeling bad, but he knows that he has to make a sacrifice and he knows that he might have to, um, 
you know when you play chess i'm not good with analogies at all like sometimes you have to like kill some of your pawns to make a, a stronger move do you guys know what i'm saying i i'm not good with analogies but this is the energy that i'm getting from this he's knows that he's going to have to sacrifice something or he's already had to sacrifice something but he doesn't care because he wants to shed light on this but he's already ready to move on he's like it's over but i just want people to be aware of what happened and she's like completely like i'm in my right i'm 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 having hope i i know that this is going to work out for me like in her mind she's in her in her right and this is right here somebody that really felt disempowered and this is somebody here that still even now with all this stuff that's going on and everything that's in the media still feels that they are um they are correct and they are the victor and that they like, I, I don't know if she honestly believes this in her mind that she, he owes her still or she's owed a lot and people it's like I'm getting this energy of somebody that uh, that never, that's always expecting others to serve them. I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying. Okay, Spirit, can you help me more for uh, Johnny Depp? Give me more, one more card for Johnny Depp, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you give me one card for Johnny Depp, please? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Rest in Jubilee. He's like, you know what? This, although it was very stressful and he had to sacrifice a lot, his name, his reputation, his work even, he's getting healing from this. He feels like a burden was lifted off of his shoulders. And he's with this number four here, numerology. This is this is uh, the stability. Number four is all about stability. He's feeling so stable now. He's really released a lot of negativity from his life. Although she's feeling emotionally withdrawn herself at this point, at this point, she still feels uh, that she's in her rights to 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 be the victor, no matter what. And this is all about him healing. He just wants to get on with his life and heal from this and shed light on it and start to, he wants to start a new chapter in his life. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, spirit. Can you help me to see? Let me see here. What? How can I word this? Amber Heard's uh, intentions toward Johnny Depp. So now we're, we see where her energy is right now, where his energy is at right now. Sorry, I chipped my nail polish. Her energy, this is his energy. Okay, now let's look at what her intentions are towards him. What are his, her intentions towards him? Spirit, help me to see what the intentions of Amber Heard are. The intentions of Ember Heard. Wow, okay. So you guys can see broken hearts. She wants to. Bro I don't think this is her heart bro being broken. I think her, this, I, I specifically asked her intention story. She wants, she wants to break him. She wants to destroy him. Oh my God, look at this envy. She wants to take more from him. Wow. Okay, Spirit. For Johnny Depp, what are his intentions? Please, Spirit, what are his intentions towards Amber Heard? Spirit. Spirit, his intentions towards Amber Heard. What are Johnny Depp's intentions towards Amber Heard? Well, <laughs> excuse me. 
excuse me. Johnny Depp's intentions. Oh my God, I have cards flying all over the place. There's a lot of energy here. Uh, Johnny Depp's intentions towards Amber Heard spirit. Okay, so we got the Sacral Chakra Archangel Ariel, but it came out. Wow, okay, so we got Hostilities Reversed also, okay. When I'm seeing the Sacral Chakra here, the Sacral Chakra, again, I was talking about the Sacral Chakra over here. This is coming out reversed. So again, when I was talking about the creation, right? Uh, and this is, a, so the root chakra is at the base of our spine and the sacral chakra is below our belly button. So this is where, you know, um, like a woman would carry the baby, the womb area. This is a creation pro process. Like the, this could also have to do with um, uh, sexual relations, of things of this nature. Okay. And it's coming out reversed. So his intentions towards her with this coming out reversed, it's as if, he wants to heal like it's like he's tr he's trying to heal from some trauma i feel like he wants to heal and with the hostilities he's not so um re upright this card is like him uh like being hostile towards her but it's coming out reversed here so again it's like he doesn't want to be hostile from the like, towards her but i feel like it's more like he wants to uh defend himself not more not so more so much being hostile like on the on the uh offense but more on the defense so he's not trying he does i don't even think he honestly thinks that he's gonna win he just wants to heal i honestly think that's what i'm getting here he doesn't have any like um nasty intentions towards her and this is more so feelings of just defending himself. And again, this is reversed here, so there's some kind of trauma here. Okay, so what's the next question? So we got the intentions. Oh my gosh, so... Oh, you know what? Let me ask this. Um, let me ask this. Spirit. Four. Because we only got a week left, so let's see what's going to happen. Let's see if this comes true. <laughs> um, for Amber Heard, what will, be the, what will be the outcome of this trial? What will be the outcome for Amber Heard for this trial? Spirit. What will be the outcome for this trial for Amber Heard? Outcome for Amber Heard for this trial, Spirit. Okay, we got Ace of Cups. We've got it reversed here. Okay, let's keep going. We got Nine of Cups. I'm sorry, Nine of Pentacles, but we got it reversed. One more. And we got the Ten of Wands here. Okay. Can you guys see this card? All right. So, Ace of Cups to me, um, when it's upright, tells me of, it could mean love coming in, but like also it could mean opportunity coming in. It can mean your, your cup being filled, right? Something new, a new energy coming in, but it's coming reverse. So it's like her cup is going to be emptied, right? In my mind's eye. Uh, nine of pentacles is the independence. And a lot of times when I see this card, it speaks of financial independence, right? So, and if somebody's asking me about work or business or something like this, I, and this card comes up upright, I'm like, oh my God, you're going to do really well. You're going to do awesome. You're going to have opportunities coming in. You're, you know, you're going to have a lot of sales. You're going to get a promotion type of thing, but you know, a lot of financial independence, but it's coming out reversed. So what I'm getting here is that something regarding her finances, she's not going to feel, um, victorious. 
her cup is not going to be filled and she's going to have a heavy weight on her shoulders with this ten of wands heavy weight this is the card ten of wands of hard work um heavy responsibilities and cannot sometimes it doesn't always mean that depending on what the other cards are saying but what these two cards with this one is showing me that it is going to have something to do with the finances um and she's not going to get what she wants so i don't know how the jury's going to if it's going to be completely 100 percent on one end or the other i don't really know how these things work or they they give some money to some and give some money to some to the other party i don't really i don't know but to what i'm seeing here is that there's going to be a burden on her so let's look at Johnny Depp. Okay. Johnny Depp. Spirit. For Johnny Depp, what will the outcome be of this trial for Johnny Depp? Spirit. What will the outcome be for Johnny Depp in this trial? Spirit. For Johnny Depp. What will the outcome be for Johnny Depp in this trial? Spirit. For Johnny Depp. The outcome of this trial for Johnny Depp. Oh my God, judgment, upright, judgment. That's like literally the perfect card for this. Nine of cups. I had to stop the video and my dog started barking. So we got judgment, we got nine of cups and we got the page, oh, I'm sorry, king of swords here, king of swords. Oh my God, okay. So judgment here. The judgment is literally, it can tot, it can literally mean judgment, right? Um, the karma, karma, a karmic um, lesson coming, right? But I think this is in his favor, honestly. Judgment here, to me, he's he's like lit, he's walking. You see this card here? She's literally sing. She's walking her own path. She's she's dancing to her own tune. She's like. She's starting anew, right? She's ended a cycle and she's starting a new path, right? A new, a new beginning for herself. A new, and this can mean in many different ways. Like this can mean like an uh, internal, internal way you look at yourself also. Like this is just the way, you know, you're seeing yourself. You're starting a new light. Like let's say um, there was a, like a, a lot of struggles you had to go through and you're like, you, you kicked a habit or something like this. But this literally, I think this is him seeking, getting judgment for this because I specifically asked about the trial. And with this nine of cups here, this is inter this is the happiness card, the wish fulfillment card here. Okay, but it's coming reversed here. So I, but I don't think this is having, is saying that he's not going to have his wish fulfilled. This is, this can be literally an outward, like when it's upright, this coming, like something rewarding coming from the outside to, to this person, like blessing this person. But he's getting, when this is reversed, what I'm getting with this, the, the, the immediate feeling that I'm getting, the intuitive uh, messages I'm getting from this, he's going to be feeling deep happiness within internal happiness with whatever this decision whatever this new beginning this new ju this judgment that's coming and with the king of swords here he's empowered he's thinking clearly now he he knows how to navigate his life now he feels empowered he's the king now he's and this is the swords are an like the air sign right here so he has clarity of thought he he's intelligent he has um, planning and strategy, and he's a master, a master, uh, yeah, ma master strategist, ma like master at learning. And what I'm getting with this card is that he's finally getting this internal happiness because he's really struggled with this, feeling like not empowered, and he's feeling this happiness from whatever this decision is, and. And that it may not necessarily be like an outward blessing, but this is going to be an internal sense of joy for him, um, like vindication. And with this King of Swords here, a deep sense of power within himself and in his mind. Like he knows what he needs to do and um, he needed just to overcome some of these hurdles. And now he's moving on right here, like this card was saying, moving on. 
He's moving on. And now the sun is shining in his path and he could see his way forward. He's starting a new beginnings with his judgment. He's starting a new beginning. He's starting his new life. And this is all being, where is it here? Yeah, moving on. He's leaving it behind. Okay, uh, I think this is all I'm going to do for this. I, I went over her energy. I went over his energy. I went over her intentions, his intentions and try to go into the outcome. If you guys want me to do more on maybe a certain uh, like clip or something that, because I haven't watched everything. I know there's a lot out there, but if you guys want me to go over certain things, like a testimony or whatever, and kind of like pull the cards to see what's going on with that specific, those specifics, I can do that too. But this was really, really interesting. I hope that it turns out this way, honestly. I was trying to go in this objectively as possible, but, I'm not seeing like a ton of money here. I mean, it could go that way, but what he's feeling really is internal joy from whatever this decision is. And also from maybe just the way things are, people are viewing, because it looks like a lot of people, um, his, his reputation has completely shifted in the, the eye of the public, in my opinion. Um, so honestly, if, the courts don't rule in his favor. He's won the hearts of the country and like I think the world, honestly. And I think that he's going to have a, a new beginning, honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Bye.